Hello all and welcome to the video for CanGem New York City 2024. I just want to thank some imaginary sponsors because I did not have this video actually sponsored, but I figured I may as well throw out some shout outs to brands I like and uh, companies and actually, wait, that's wrong. One person is willing to sponsor it. Princess Pasta Audio, correct? Correct. Links to Princess Pasta Audio in the description. And just for the hell of it, some of my favorite things to eat. You got the Flatiron Pepper Company. I put these all in Ikea grinders, by the way. They're fantastic. They're available on Amazon. I don't think every flavor is on Amazon, but at least five of them are. And uh, Pioneer Mini Splits, which I use duck cover. Oh God, I'm trying to zoom. I, this for real. I know you did. Well, these other ones are imaginary, but actually I do owe Pioneer Mini Split um, a sponsor shout out. They are heating and cooling my home. Thank you so much for providing the equipment. A full review will be incoming. So check out my favorite way to spice all foods. Check out Princess Pasta. Her last video was on room correction and she covered the Toronto Audio Show. And now on to the Can Jam 2024 New York City coverage. Yay! Uh, battery handle at 97%. Hello, welcome to coverage of Can Jam 2024. Can Jam New York 2024. So that's a drive for me. I don't have to get on a plane or anything, which means I get to take lots of stuff. Um, in this case, I am taking, uh, this is my Godox bag from the light that I use for reviews. I was like, this is a nice bag. I wish I could use it for something else. So I rearranged the dividers going down the center and I could take a bunch of headphones. And three of the headphones are the Aris tunings. These are going to be at the Dakoni booth, which you won't know about unless I tell you. Here's the Mark 7 that I'm gonna keep on me, and everyone wants to know about this fucking Dyson headphone that I praised. Can't go anywhere without KPH 40s. This is the Dakoni modded um, balance set with the balance cable. There's all the cables up there. Uh, one of my collab cables adapted, and then that's a thousand dollar effect cable, and then some generic high, uh, ones. Oh, this is important. This took me, I don't know how long, 30 minutes now to put together. So this is a, let me see if I can get the focus on it. Can you focus on it, please? Can you focus? Thank you. Anyway, this is a 3.5 adapted to a quarter inch, adapted from a quarter inch down to a 3.5, a 3.5 to a right angle 4.4, 4.4 to female 4-pin XLR, and then 4-pin XLR to 4.4. Uh, so that should cover me plugging any headphone into any amp. I'm sure I'm missing one at least, but... Um, That'll do it. And now I'm packing that. I'm packing my laptop bag, which is uh, just a backpack. And I'm packing as little clothing as possible because nudity is the best. And other accessories and maybe some cookies. Why does it seem so zoomed in? You seem very zoomed in, even though you got the wide angle lens on. Probably because I zoomed in a little bit. There you go. Okay, we're good. Off to New York. Welcome. To the greatest show on earth. Anyway, um, hold on. Wait. Paused, open. Oh, music's playing. I gotta hold on. Wait, stop. I gotta pause the music. Gotta stop. Stop. I gotta stop. Welcome to the Grand Marquis, the Marriott Marquis. Oh, look at our beautiful view. Oh. Anyway. Oh, all right. Anyway. So. We're here, dinner soon. I'm gonna catch uh, a ride with some friends out to the restaurant or doing the thing. This is still Friday, it's still pregame. I'm not going down to the show floor until probably later when people are just frantically putting things together till three in the morning. Um, brought the greatest Bluetooth headphones in the face of the earth. And since it's New York and it stinks, this will help a great deal. Serious. Food Ooh, no, it's, it's, it's totally going in the video. This is totally going in the video. We are all here making so much noise, preparing to eat. I want a $69 steak. Where the hell are we? 21 Steakhouse? 212. 212 Steakhouse. I bought a $69 Canadian Tebow. Dude, mine was 72. Yours was 72, but it was smaller. Yeah. I'm going to try a piece of your steak. I'll put his meat in my mouth. Give me a second. Film me. Are you filming? Are you filming? 
Yeah, that was good. Let's yeah. see the other coffee. Just a taste. It's, uh, you better believe I ate that raw steak. <laughs> It was his favorite, favorite steakhouse. That's fifteen dollars in mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, let's hope it's good. <laughs> Sir, how was your meal? Average, mediocre. Uh, I think too better. little. I, I, I can't too little. What about you? <laughs> it was good. All right, Nathan's too nice. Uh, sides way overpriced. And okay, like the sides are good. My steak was not worth sixty nine dollars. The lobster bisque was just a bis. It was like canned lobster bisque. If that makes sense. It was not and a seventy two. The, the butter wasn't today. even salted for the bread. Like, come on, man. This is gonna be a big bill, and I am not satisfied. With this Don't come to two one two steakhouse. I would have paid thirty five dollars for that steak back home. Yeah, thirty five would have been good. That was like a like a like a thirty five. You know what? That's it. Thirty five dollars steak. That's about it, though. It's time for drinks. There were many drinks. We told many a story, and now I go back to the hotel room and sleep. New York. New York. So, drinking is great fun do that. I have a lot of stories. Your throat will hurt. Look at this cool lighting now. By the way, we're sort of going up. Four, thirty-one. The floor 31. The fitness center. That's a wild hotel. Imagine this in like the 70s. Whenever they built it. And it's morning. <clears throat> a little bit before the show starts. Like 9.30. This doesn't make you queasy at all. It's fine. Anyway, I am dressed in my best J and Mike impression. And I've got these, because that's gonna question a whole bunch of things. And I've got this. Let's see what's, actually, let me get my badge. Michelle Lib's not sponsoring this, but no one's sponsoring this. That was either a fucky-wucky on my part or a brilliant plan to make it seem sadder and you'll support me on Patreon. Let me go get my badge. Why? Why did you turn around? I'm over here. Hello, I'm over here. Anyway, it was hilarious because I was just walking towards the badge thing. There's a huge line. There's a huge line for the badges. I was just walking towards it and the guy was like, because he knows, he knows this man, this man right here. He gets the respect. And then I got stopped literally 14 feet later. The guy was like, you're Zeos. And I'm like, Yes, I am. And then I gave him headphone advice. He had a $300 budget. He, I recommended the Tigers. It's the only headphone he's ever had was the Tigers. And he wanted something better than the Tigers. And that's all he had as far as information. So I was like brainstorming. And after a while, it was like he couldn't, he didn't have an amp to push Argons. I figured Argons or Argon Mark or T60 Argons, he could probably stretch his budget for that. Um, I offered him, ah, just smash the JT1s. That was a real face I made. Or from JT1s for $69, because how could you go wrong? And then eventually we settled on the Moondrop Para, because he was like 1990, because he's got, he's got bear dynamic. People who s don't stay in the same brand, just because you're afraid. Go out, do something else. You don't have like, I like ramen, I want ramen. I just like, kind of like want ramen. No, go have fucking pizza. Or have Chinese food, or go eat a goat liver. I don't know, just try something else. Don't always stay the same, just whoop, right turn. So Moondrop Para, plain on. Because that should still work in his setup. Anyway, we're about to go in. Um, I should probably put the little battery extender on this because it makes it like too short. So I'm going to reach into my ass, which is where I keep all my accessories when we're doing these sort of shows. Aha! So I think it was like $70. But if I do this... Ah, you, you feeling it? You feeling it? There we go. The remaining battery handle level is 93. So I'm going to put you down. Please don't fall. I'm gonna put this again in my ass. This is, this is everything goes in the ass. Put on these so I look cool. Oh. God, they sound good. Gorillas is playing, and I should probably pause it. Oh, Jesus! Let me show them the line. The line starts here and wraps all the way around the other side of the elevators. I won't wait for that though. Oh. 
We're here, everybody. Usually, Daconi has the corner booth. Drop, beat them. Stop stealing hey, things. Man. Stop stealing things. What's up, Steve? I know you. Are you looking forward to dinner oh, tonight? Was three. It's got to be better than the dinner we had last night. We went to 212 Steakhouse, and it was I was disappointed. Well, we're going back to Pasticci in the city. Right? Uh -huh. I took you once. Uh -huh. And by Harlem. Italian restaurant. Would you like getting on a bus? You got like a party bus bringing everyone there? I have, we have two cars and uh -huh. then some people have to take the train. What do you have to say to me? I like your Osmo. Everyone does. At CES, the three? at CES, everyone was like, is that the three? And I'm like, isn't the CES, is there more exciting things? Yes, this is, she's a beautiful beast. So the first five are approved. Actually, I got to make sure that the goddamn microphones are set right because this thing nearly killed me. But there's like four microphone settings. But yeah, yeah, this thing is... Everyone wave. Dylan, wave. What's up, buddy? All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do things. I thought I reached stuff. Did you right. try the, like, Anyway, this man right here is like, have you heard my DAC? Have you put your ears on my DAC? And then you're like, what about his DAC? What do you think about his DAC? What do you think about his big, no, big fat DAC? Big DAC energy. All right, so plug this into something that makes it go, unless you need an adapter, in which case I... adapter. All right, let me show you what I got. All right, All right you ready for this? Because you probably don't look at my tweets. I've got taking stuff. This should be everything you could possibly need. All, all of these things adapt to all the other things. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Don't lose that. That thing's rare. No one makes that because no one should because it's annoying. It would break con connectors. Okay. We're plugging the Fio uh, JT ones. When I bring my collab headphone down, the one you heard at um, Candia, which is where I finally got the tuning, I'm going to be able to, then we'll blow some shit up. This is true peak, peak scaling right here. Mm -hmm. You really only need something like this for that to work. Anything below that. And just... Yeah, no, I mean, if we're, it's a, look, it's a $69 <laughs> headphone. So you want to spend the most. Yeah. What is this actually? Can you tell me what the chain costs right here? What is the chain we're about to listen to? That's 3300 uh -huh. This is a one La Golden Sound Edition. That is a Hypsos, which you don't need, but it's optional. That's a thousand. That's a Zale HM1, which if you can get one, I think it's eight thousand now. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. So over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. Wait, turn it. Class A, no feedback. Yeah, I don't. I don't want any feedback. I'm a Class A. I'm gonna try not to. I, 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 I'm gonna flip this around so we can watch my my head melt globally. Dunk. And then there's an option for impact plus a tube mode and spatial enhancement. This man is selling tubes. I'm over here with like wires and shitty I am. He's just like, look at my three thousand dollar DAC. That's, a, that's the most golden sound thing ever. Is anything playing? No. He made a difference. He impacted me. He's impacting me. Anyway, I'll be back. We're going to do more things. I'm waiting for more people. i got to go get things to the room again. So there's a detriment to bringing a $69 headphone with a $1,000 IM cable attached to it is I can't just leave these somewhere. I would love to just leave them somewhere, but it's, I, mm, I don't care about the headphones. I care about the fucking stupid effect audio cable that's more money than half of my trip. Maybe if I sell this, we could stay in this hotel for free. That'll be my sponsorship. I sold the effect cable. Floor 31. Floor 31. So now I've got to get uh, SJY's his horizon because he's got a new tuning and I just finished the review of the old tuning. Um, and I might just leave this wire, like it's cool, but I, don't, I can't leave it anywhere. And I don't have a backpack, and I really don't want a backpack. Uh, so, I'm gonna grab a bunch of shit, more than I've got currently, and go back downstairs. Stop. What about your tungsten? No one cares about his tungsten. Everyone cares about his tungsten. Whoa, why do you have these? Because I have like a bunch of mod house stuff, so I like all. Okay, of them. so you're, you're just you're, you're a resident yeah. mod houser. What do you power them with? Uh, right now, I've got a Singer SA1, uh -huh. and I preamp that with the uh, Expo 604. Mm. So I'm here to see what else I should power it with. I have no idea yet. I'm sure there's something that might work. Yeah. Enjoy your hunt. Thank you. What's good? Hi. Hello. How do you feel? I'm still sick. 
You know, I was like gassy. Let me let's, let's talk the again. I got so gassy from that meal, and I don't have any gas yet. Yeah, like I couldn't even like fart ever again. So don't go to Two Twelve Steakhouse. I think it was a rip. She goes, uh, it's, it's Ali. He says, like, I only get the three hundred dollar meal. Yeah, I would have gotten anything else. It would have been fine. I think That's the right, Italian tonight. Today. Italian tonight. Italian tonight. You going with the Tacony guys? Yeah. Are you not going to that, or do you not? I haven't been invited. I'll go. Oh, I don't know if it's going to fit. It maybe will fit it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got to hear some of this, this growl stuff here. This, this, this man, this this man apparently makes really good headphones. Some, well, some people say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I, I've heard them when they, we were at the SoCal, and uh, they were almost there. They were almost oh, no, it's, there. It's much better. Yeah, really, that SoCal was not the worst. But it wasn't. The, it wasn't ready. It was. Yeah, it was. But in that process of making it, so SoCal was a little bit. Yeah, it was a little bit too much in the, in the very high, so it was a little bit not enough in, in the, the very lows. So, <laughs> Look, so the top until it hits the shelves, I don't consider a headphone done. So once it's there, then you're done. So I gotta give those a listen. So we are just starting. Um, yeah. Zero production, we're getting parts in, and uh, zero production will start. Are you done tuning? Are you, you, you're officially hanging up, like, I'm done tuning this headphone? So I did everything with that headphone, yeah. I know, but are you going to make any more revisions, or you think it's you're done? No, no, that's it. So that's it. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Drivers are just flying around. Yeah, well, that's, that's, been, that's, what he's, that's his job. We have the acoustic baffle. This part, this is very open mesh. Uh, it's the same... Uh, it's not exactly the same material, but the same manufacturer as for the HDA 10 and has it. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's acoustically transparent but defined. And then yeah, and then they fire the driver because the driver mounts. And the driver is in this position here. Uh, it's always a little bit tricky to get it in, but yeah. So this is I'm nervous. What is the, uh, that's a 40 millimeter driver? Yeah, that's a 40 millimeter, and so I did this. Uh, I'm gonna get it on there. No, that was in? Okay. Uh, I made this ring radiator for the HD800 mm -hmm. because when uh, the sides of a diaphragm is getting larger than 40 millimeters, it start, starts to wobble mm -hmm. uh, in different unwanted or uncontrolled movements and so the sound is then not what it should be. Hmm, these would be really good for the ZMF Universe hybrid pads on them. Uh -huh. So we tried them on we're like, holy oh, crap, these are really good. We sent the ear pads to um, Japan and they were like, these are fantastic. So we, we've included them as a That might be the first time I've ever heard of Audio Technica asking Japan to do something and they actually did it. We, Usually it's just Audio Technica complaining that like, well, no, Japan, they just don't listen to us over here. So that's a good news. We celebrate the, the wins. Um, They're right here. Are these ZMF pads? Th these are like the ZMF pads. I'll come back around if they're, if they're being used. But yeah, no, that's excellent news. Like, because I think the pads make the most difference. Like, if you just have to fix something, it's like a pad will do it. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm a little biased, but I think a little more Western to friendly. Yeah, no, I, I was talking to people at uh, at CES, and it was a lot of Japanese IM places, and I'm like, Japanese tuned, and I was like, that's going to mean treble. Yes. Lots of treble. See, I'm, All the detail. I, I, don't, I kind of enjoy that, but I know some people are like... you got to have no. two. You've got to have the Japanese tuned one or the very, very forcefully tuned one, and the one that's just more laid back. Yeah. Japan doesn't do laid back. They're too busy. It, it's all about the fun. But it, yeah. Come back and give it a listen. It's... Um, How's the microphone? ZMF pads make all the difference in the world. You thought this could happen? He's going all turbo. We're going all turbo on it. Yeah. Well, those look nice at least. Those, those. They actually look like a turbo. You could you could sell these to compatriots. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Let's do the zoom thing. Oh. 3D printed. 
stainless steel. Really? 3D printed stainless steel? Yeah. Well, that's a new one on me. Mm -hmm. You know what the hardness scale is on that, on the 3D printed stainless? Not off the top of my head. What do those run? 1500. Are they tuned for flat, or what are we? What is the uh, the, the tuning we're going for on those? You're calling them turbo, so they better make me run faster and mm -hmm. jump higher. Uh huh. Um, I guess the closest 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 thing that we can compare is probably Z1R. Uh, that's that's although a good. Although it is it is a variation of that sound. I'm look Z1Rs were fun as hell. So that's as soon as you say that, I'm interested. Right. And you've got custom in ears. Custom, custom true wireless. Um, this oh, is the demo. custom true wireless. Yeah. that's the thing. This is a demo for it, a uh, universal demo, and it goes for six ninety nine. And then we've got the ear to. Oh yeah, and I have. A, I still have a few of these. I still use your guys uh, for like concerts, for concerts uh -huh. and things. So they're all they're all great. That's the weirdest thing I've seen all day. That's, yeah, yeah. Here. Custom AirPod. Molds. Yep. They do the custom molds. Yeah. You weren't uh, here the year they did the molds. Oh, no, they were doing molds. It, it comes uh, with the proprietary mounting buckle. Yeah, you probably would need a mounting buckle yeah. for it. Yeah. So, so it's easy, sort of uh, pop off and pop on. Those are uh, electronic he uh, hearing protection uh, yeah. plugs. So um, it, it has uh, transparency amplification, uh, two different levels. So you can uh, hear outside. Ear tune. Right. Um, and then uh, when it detects noise above 85 decibel, it cuts it's off for, the sound. It's for shooting. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's for shooting. My brother still uses yours for shooting. The shoot, like the shooting industry? Uh, it is. Uh, we're, we're growing in it. Uh, yeah. We were just at SHOT Show um, in, in January. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... Uh, it's, it has no Bluetooth function. Uh, it's strictly amplification and hearing. It, most people frown upon jam jamming the tunes while you're at the gun range. <laughs> you want to hear the, the instructor? Yeah. yeah no, I was curious because I might listen to those later. We go to the racetrack and we constantly have to wear hearing protection. So well, the thing is that won't cut out unless it's over 85, which would probably be. It's all the time. It's yeah, all the time. time. Yeah. It's all the time at the racetrack. Yeah. 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 thing on. So they did the little dap, the little dongle dap for 300, and it's called intercooler because it looks like an intercooler. And their turbos look like a turbo, which is a true thing. We've got benchmark here. All right, let's do the let's do the walk around. Let's see if we can do a walk around before we get absolutely swamped. So, sorry, spin around. Benchmark, IFI, Meze. Hi Meze. Hi everyone at Meze. I got to introduce. Where's Meze? If you want to do. Ah. Oh, where are my lyric lyric ones? Those are twos. Those are twos. I'll be back around to listen to those again. I have a set. We got Creative Labs is here. Doing Zen's micros. I'm just filming in a big walk and then I'll come back and listen to all the cool stuff. Theorem's here. We got Audio 46. We got Final. We got Edematic uh, AMS. We got Fostex. We got Dakoni Boys. These are the Mark Twos. Got Mark Twos on. <laughs> Keep going. You haven't listened enough. I'm waiting for him to listen to more. There's How? certainly a lot of bass. They're the most bass. Need to get that burn in. You need to get that brain burning. It's yeah. got to work. Just, just keep running it, man. It'll eventually happen. So, is this the Mark Seven? No, that's the Mark Two. Okay. The Mark One and Two are here. I'm wearing the Mark Seven. Okay. And how does? Are these as close to? What They're exact, the exactly the same. Cool. All right. Those just have my hands inside of them, and these are just from the factory. Okay. All right, so there you go. We got the grill stuff. We got to deal with in a bit. We got to see that. I want to hear that as a final tune. Odyssey usually has a big booth, so they're just all set up. I'm actually gonna stop this video and make sure I have the microphone set to all. All right. So now we're wandering from Black and Decker. I get around, 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 all the way. Oh, what did I do? I've never heard stacks with so you much weight. Tourist. I look forward to trying it. The I don't know if they put it here, but the head out. Yes, fact me beans. Random bean fact of the day is that baked beans aren't even British. 
They were invented in 1870 in Pennsylvania. Fucking A, Pennsylvania. Well, you're not Pennsylvania, you're Brooklyn. You're well, it doesn't matter. Close Anybody else from Pennsylvania? Area. Close, Close area. enough. Close enough? South Jersey. Oh, that's <laughs> not New York, South place. Jersey. Well, drink another run. I would, uh, my audience demands it. Go ahead. Did you know that Pythagoras was deadly afraid of beans? To the point that when he was being chased by his enemies, he got caught because he came across a field of beans and refused to go through. You know what? I've never seen a field of beans. I wouldn't even know what it looked like. I don't know either, but he was scared. You should know what if you should plant them outside your studio. Frolicking through the field of beans. You should lay in them and just be like beans. That's so I sent you the video of the baked beans with my speakers. Beans. Yes. Everyone's got that. Random Why did I stop this recording? We come up with lossless water yeah, and grounded, water. Bed grounded bed sheets or something that actually beans. exists. High five beans. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be a thing. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, what else is here? I'm gonna go fibrous up mid-range. Fibrous mid-range. Yeah. I'm gonna keep walking around. So we got Audio Technica. We went to. We got Techniques. We went to. I gotta come back around. I'll be back around. We got Campfire Audio doing campfire things. Yes, we do. Hold on, but let me zoom in comically to your face. Did you tell them the only dap that I brought with me? Where is it? You son of a bitch. Yeah, that's all you need. Don't or, listen to them. Or you get this Zune player. Ooh, whoa, you get a Zune? Oh, man. No, it's an Aoun, but... Oh, it's an Aoun? Oh, I thought it was a Zune. Everyone thinks it's a Zune, because it looks like that. Way less cool. Uh, but it sounds better. Don't you know about the current year? It's what's that? All right, what's that thing where they, they build their own custom programmed architecture to DAC? Um, it, it's like, it's not ROM. It's what the hell is... I know what you're talking about. What's it called? Because that's what this has. And it murders the battery, but it sounds so good. I don't know. I had that on this, though. I had a rock box on this for a while. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, it's when you program how a DAC should behave using, a, like, a, like, a, like, a what's it called chip, like an actual pro a processing yeah, chip. I know what you're talking about. What is it? Yes. God damn it. You're, you're fucking no help at all. Oh, Fat Freak's here. Linsoul's here. Linsoul's doing play audio things. Ghosts are great, black holes are meh. As long as they got one winner, uh, I can respect anybody. You gotta have one winner. Sennheiser's here, but no one ever heard of Sennheiser. Fio's here. I gotta go say hello to Fio, and I gotta show them I brought the JT1. Unique Melody, Music Tech, doing their thing. We're wandering around. I can't say that word. I just, I don't know how to. Oh, it's this guy. Where am I? Nipples. I think my house needs one of these. <laughs> it's plugged in his butt. And that's the cable I got. The nipples is the volume. The nipples are the volume. And the $35 cable in his butt. I respect it. Beautiful. I own those cables. I don't, I can't hate on it. TNA, engineering emotion. Why are you following me? I think you're following me. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the power cables they're using are the same ones I have in my house. They're $35 on Amazon. That's, a, that's very interesting looking. They're really big hey. aluminum. They're great. I just have to say hello. I'm a big fan of your channel. I've been watching you for... And you could still afford clothing? Then you're obviously not watching hard enough. You got you to gotta spend more if you're watching me. You got to be like, I'm so poor. I can only eat Robin because I have so many headphones. Well, fortunately, I worked in between watching your videos. So oh, you, that's a smart myself. choice. Yeah. You probably had a life established and it didn't did. steer you into the dirt. So that's the rep for the actual the nipple things. We got uh, Elitech. We've got... Oh, this is what's it called? Sym Symphonium, Nightjar. We've got A and Ultima from Aslan Kern. Aslan Kern players, always good. Project Systems got their stuff here. Empire Ears got their stuff here. Make No Copyright with Elysian uh, Effect Audio. Oh, Effect Audio coming in. Look at this, buddy. Hi. Oh, I'm getting a hug. This is weird. I'm filming it. <laughs> Kiss my camera. I'll kiss you any day. Hey. So anyway, all right, we're continuing along now that we got hugged and stopped. And I did pop my suggestion for a 3.5. We'll see if we do it. Focal's here. Stelly is here. Stelly is here. 
I always got to give a shout out to that company that literally disappeared off the internet. They loaned, they gave me the three thousand dollars Stelia, and then Funnel Audio. They never, they stopped existing, and I'm so sad. Put people wait. We lost, we lost, um, you guys are. Let's show. Tikafei. Oidi. That's our. That's a new, new, new IEM. Uh, the uh, Fletcher lost their things. The Cadenza 4. Cadenza 4? Yeah. Mm. Sings are quality stuff. Oh, Alright, we're just filming. We're just filming. Mimic Audio's there. Brian Dietz from Modhouse is at Mimic. He's awesome. Um, shit. By the way, I want to just let you guys know, I just recently reviewed The Piety, right? On YouTube. And then my, my video gets demonetized for breaking cop violation. I'm like, what did I do? I checked. I say shit a lot. A lot. So I'm going to have to think of a new word because I am now yellow thing, so I can't say... Emphasize the eyes. She... 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 I don't know, man. I gotta, I'm going to work it out. It's going to be a hard future now on YouTube trying to measure your projects. Uh, Dana Cable. I don't know those cables. Mass Cobo Man. That's the $17,000 amplifier that makes every headphone you plug it into sound actually... That is the only $17,000 thing that I will absolutely 100% say, yes, this makes a big enough difference, you should invest in it. So how many do you own? I reviewed it. Ali loaned me his. This man in Japan makes them one at a time, and then that's it. You go home. Uh, Quobuzz is here. Head amp is here. I'll be back. Topping is... Topping is here. Oh, no. Topping is here. Oh no, now I have to buy toppings. Uh, that thing's great. Oh, the DX9. But that's new. I haven't seen that. I'll be back. I'll be back to look at it all. LTA, guys. Actually, someone's going to buy an LTA amp, send it to me, and they want me to review it, and then I'm going to send it out. But I'm like, let me just double check because the shipping and insurance is going to be absurd. I think it's like the third, whatever your 3,500. No, wait, it's, it's that at the end. Yeah, the DAC. The DAC. And I'm like, I. Mm, it should be I mean, we'll see. With insurance and shipping, it'd probably be all right. Always take the card. Call me up. We've met before. Uh, yeah, we've yeah. met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been trying to get something going forever. And he's yeah. just like, hey, I'm going to buy this. I'm like... I can send you one and I'll pay for the shipping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. yeah. Pay for the shipping back to him, then that would be even better. Yeah, yeah. We'll work it out. See, that's, that's how you put it, do a tube in modern times. Just hide the goddamn thing so it doesn't get destroyed. So my cat doesn't decide to rub, rub his ass on uh, Ice Labs is... Oh, these are the ones with the Anime Girl cables. That's weird. But I love it. Um, oh, speaking of the devil. There's Truth here. It seems right up your alley. Oh. You know, if I could fit it. They, uh, they giggity. Look, they looked at your videos and like, this is a market. This is my market. SMSL with the CD players. We're going to come back over here. We're doing that. Uh, Moondrop. Something new from Moondrop. We'll have to go and check that out. What did we miss? We missed... Oh, the Glacier. Those are the ones I brought. That was a 1300. I love the Duno. So is that? The IEMs? Or the... the IEMs, yeah. They're, ama they're amazingly wide. They actually are chill and relaxed, and that's Rawl. These are, are $10,000. Those are new Rawls. I'm going to have to listen to those and critique them harshly. Um, Upscale Audio is a retailer. Cord is here, as always. And we're back to the butt. $35 for that cable. This is... This is at least the cool shit. Like, if you're going to be in an audiophile show and you're going to do things, at least be cool shit. And apparently the guy watches my channel, so I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. We're definitely going to review one of these. So, we zoom in. Hold on. Clock. Clock mechanism. I live in Florida, but I was born in Florida. I don't think you went because I spent six hours on the Zero Project today. You're lucky, only six hours. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's purple. Yeah. I'm sorry if I sound weird, but why do you look familiar? What is the concept? It's a nice. An amplifier. I'm brother. I don't know. I've only, I'm only Zeos on the internet. I don't know if that's anybody. Zeos! Oh, shit!
Individual left and right volumes. You know what the fucked up thing is? It actually sounds really good. Like, I mean, I guess, yes, yeah, stacks 9,000s, but... Those are the cheaper ones. I like the cheaper ones better, I think. Let's put on these. Look, it's Mr. Tungsten himself. You went from Mr. Modhouse and Mr. Argon to Mr. Tungsten. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, these are the best headphones on earth. That's the only headphone I've heard over and over not being in it for years. So. Yeah, yeah. So this and you got the 35? Yeah. No, this is, so this is a modified 22. Um, mm. we're, we're hypothetically working on a collab. Yeah, so we're going to turn this into a, make a headphone amp version of the F22 so that you don't need an adapter box or cables or anything. Dude, that's going to be insane. You can just run it right off the XLR. I want to, I'm hoping he can, he can make it, um, he can add balanced in, like get rid of the speaker taps, do balanced in, balanced out, like a pre-out with balanced in. Would be my yeah, dream. no, I would absolutely would be my dream. get rid of the speaker taps because I'm not going to probably ever use it. Or they could sell the adapter that goes from this to speaker taps at that point. That too, yeah, that too. Unless it's being modified internally for the, the ohms load. It probably no, should still work. I don't think so, no. No, I think this is straight off, this is equivalent to going off the taps. All right. Without an adapter. So he's got that. Yeah, you should listen. See what you think of. Uh... I'm gonna burn my hand first. Oh yeah, it's not working. Oh yeah, it's, that's it's not hooked up. Working. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I was gonna check and then can cheat. Give me a screwdriver around and adjust the biasing. Yeah, you'll actually get to hear those. Or you got a set here. What are these running off of? Uh, nothing right now. Well, yeah, nothing right now. So. Anyway, I just want you to hold, let him hold. Well, my friend here has been out of the audio file game. See, now what you need to do is not help him with his SEO because he, can't he, couldn't, keep up. he couldn't keep up. Like I literally held the review for like four months just because. It's a good problem to have. So yeah, best, put them on your head. They're the best feeling headphone. Like they have the best geometry of any headphone. Heavy. Not really. They're not heavy. Oh, this, this is stupid. So this is helping. This is not the wire for it. What is this wire? To Jared for like it's gotta be a double helix thing. But like, yeah. 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 Oh. Everything about it. Like, it doesn't look stupid on your head either. Like, this is so close to your head. Like, it just looks good on your face. I look at him. It's just, it's just, his is actually a little bit high. But this one is like super low. Don't listen to anything he says about me. Don't listen to anything he says. That's camaraderie. Or they're actually just hate each other. That's what it comes down to. Morning. I just like wooden boxes. I'm here for the wooden box displays. Oh, that is that is so high, Feynman. They're all empty boxes. I'll take them all. No, we can't sell boxes. Why can't you sell boxes? This is this is bullshit. I didn't come here to not buy empty boxes. I used to make living from. I still make a living bullshitting. <laughs> Hello, I'm Zios. I make a living from bullshitting. We, we must be twins from different mothers. <laughs> I've seen this one all the time yeah, pops I've up. It's a little bit of, like, I figure that would work on most desks. Like, it wouldn't get in the way too much. Shotgun Willy, actually really good. That's just huge. This is, this is like the big, it's like everything in Audiophilia that's giant is in this room. They've got... Purple tungsten, baby. Mimic tungsten, because it's got the gray. Zimif. Zimif. Just gonna steal things. I'm just gonna steal things. Oh, sorry. Yeah. ZMF here. 
can jam. Oh, we got the new DJI Pro 3. Because Zeos only has the newest, best stuff because they sent it to him to review. But it's only working its magic now at Can Jam. ZMF Room 2024. All right, now let's reset this because everyone's now sick. I apologize to everyone who was puked. <laughs> it's not Zach's face's fault. It's my fault. It's my did this. Anyway, so you got things and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got things and stuff. Boca, where's my baby? Where's the? It's the. It's the Boca, Boca baby. Boca, it's Boca, right? Because I kept trying to say like, you. Yeah, we had to re- You wrote it and it had like a lots, and I'm like, we no. We had to rename it Z Boca after you got your hands on it. Um, this is the new the new wood you finish. It's going to be natural mm. with. Uh, this is Limba and that's Limba, and this is spalted Limba. So wait, it's two separate pieces of wood? No. Okay. It's one piece of wood. I'm just being funny, but um, <laughs> oh, I don't get your yeah, humor. It's, black, it's all black Limba, but it's spalted black w- Limba. Yeah, but like, this is the next release. Is not stained Limba. Why does it always get weird when I'm in a ZMF room? I don't understand. It's your, it's our, it's when you. It's this energy. We don't. Together, it gets or we weird. vibe in like this weird hurricane. Like, look, your wife's lovely and she makes sense. True. That was it. Look, she said true. She didn't go like true. Ah. Yeah. How you been? been you okay with this guy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. checking. I gotta check every time. You know, there's like a symbol of like, you like I need to escape. Like there's like a, like a, yeah, it's like the. Get out. It's like Zach's not selling enough headphones. Get out. He's gonna rage. Purple though. Always rage. I w- keep it purple. So purple. We, uh, we call it Zio's purple. 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 Actually, I don't even know what the hell to call that. Roadkill. <laughs> I mean, actually, that one's more roadkill. This but- is. I like, look, I like it. I'm just, there's a lot going on, and it's like, well, how do you define, like, actually, you know what? It kind of looks like a spirit is escaping from the bull. That looks like a face, when and it's like walking mute through. The headphones, it lets the spirits out. I don't want that. I want to keep those spirits forever. I paid for those spirits. Oh, then, then keep it on uh, high gate. I didn't know your name was Zach, too. I've been calling you Bevan the entire time. Wow, that's so fucked up. Uh, the CMF room is always the party room. How many different messages? Six or seven, I doubt. I don't. You know what? I don't even know if he knows. So let's. We could probably ask. That's too thick. I'm gonna complain. Do I have a ZMF sticker on my? I do have a ZMF sticker on my on my thing. What else we got going on here? Hold on. Boca's seriously amazing for a thousand. <laughs> See, I said it. I said it. I said the thing. Actually, I said it in a video like two weeks ago. So you're, you're missing it. What do we got? LTA. Oh, they're swapping over here. They're giving up. Let me try this one. Morning. I have watched your egg video. No, and don't do that. Your cat video. I saw your cat video. Which way? Well, the original Chewbacca video? God rest her. 2011. 20, 20, 20, 21, she went. She was 16. She lived the happiest life I could give her. So she. I'll buy your cat. I've got 50 bucks on them. You're not going to sell me your cat? No, I, just, I just want to let you know that I've seen your cooking videos. Wait, which ones? I used to do them. Well, you don't look like you've been watching enough of them because you would just be rolling into this room if you watch enough of my videos. It's all about that butter. It's all about that butter. But um, which one do you remember? Do you remember at least one? I specifically just remember Oh, the best egg, like the simplest egg, like the simple 15 minute egg. It's a great one. It's my favorite. Just make eggs. I just had to tell you, so so I've never met you in person yet, so I felt like it was the perfect introduction. It was. It was like, hey, I've seen you cook an egg, and I'm like, really? Thank my God. Thank you so much. It's better than the headphone videos. It's it's more. I I, see the thing. I don't need a headphone. I need an egg. That's how that works. I need to live. You might be able to like make the egg. 
If you make an amplifier that gets hot enough, I'll cook an egg in it. Promise. Welcome to the Palace Ballroom. These are good rooms because they're quiet, but they're also bad rooms because you can't find them. You gotta like, go to the end of the hall. Who wants to go to the end of the hall? It's too far away. It feels like a church. It's very quiet in here. It's very quiet in here. I feel like I have to be quieter than normal. You do. Oh, lyrics here. Lyric 2 is everywhere. I gotta listen to more of Lyric 2. He's doing a full recording right now, a walkthrough. Um, I'm, just, I'm just giving a, uh, anything, what's new from, uh, from DCS? Well, this is it. For sure. I'm, I'm Elliot from Innovative Audio. Nice to speak to you. We sell DCS in New York. Okay, yeah, you're the, you're the, uh, the basically the retailer for, for it. How, how are, the, how's the market looking in 2024 for high-end audio? I always ask this question if you're a retailer, because you guys usually know if things are going up or down. You can't count on what happened yesterday for tomorrow. So that is true. You put the work in, and you meet people, and you network with people. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting a lot of people who are interested in music, which is the main thing, right? So you'd like to be aware. What's music? I never heard of a thing. I just buy this gear to warm it up. It keeps my house nice and warm. But yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. The person who's best served by what we do is somebody that would say, in my life, I want to spend some time regularly decompressing, listening to music. Well, we have new Lena Silva paired with the Rossini Apex. If you'd like to shoot the least DCS Lena Silva. Oh, sure. I'll show, show, yeah, point it out. In this corner over here, this gentleman's listening on the first Ah. Oh. This is a really, really killer system here. I love the silver, by the way, because most of the DCS stuff has been like more of the black matte finish. Yeah, so our traditional two-channel systems are always in silver. We did the Lena was our first system um, that was only available in black. But now we so what's the uh, so the streamer is obviously what we're what we're dealing with here at the, the bottom. The Rossini is the streamer. Yeah, we yeah. do have a Lena streamer. It was also available in, in silver, but for this system itself, we've just added the Lena Master Clock mm -hmm. and the Lena Headphone Amp. What does this system go for right now? Ooh, that's a good question. In dollars, um, in US dollar dues. US dollars, Christy. Sorry, Rossini Apex in US dollars. A uh, good question. Nobody knows. You know what? It's kind of better if nobody knows. It's just like you probably want it. Don't don't concern yourself with the price. It's just if you love it, there's no price. You might want to cut that bit out. We do know. We know. I know. No, please. I've run shows and people would ask me questions and I'd be like, I make this face. <laughs> I don't know, a lot. But you know, I know that like the stand for this is like, is that custom bespoke to you guys? Um, HRS made it custom for us, yes. Okay. Because I'm like... It's HRS, but um, they did make it specifically for the leader. It's beautiful stuff. Yeah, it is. It's somehow just adding a little more space between all of them. This makes it... Better. Yeah, I mean, personal some people really love the stack as it is. It's, it's designed to I mean, if you're, I know, I know this stack is thirty, but then you're probably adding two, three. Yes, I mean, this is on the um, rack. If you they never put the price in it. It's fine. But yeah. Oh, it the question is, can you get the? Can you get the rack in silver? If you're getting the stack I don't in silver. Think they might do a custom HRS. HRS might if you ask them. I mean, if you if there's enough money involved, they'll do any color you'd like. So I'm sure. But thank you so much. The Rossini. The Rossini uh, is thirty six thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. 
That's for the oh, that's the CD player one. The plain one is thirty-two thousand eight hundred. So it's an extra four thousand dollars for the CD. Yeah, but. It's, you find that you sell more of those? Because I'm getting this impression that CDs are coming back as like a niche I, thing. I, I, I haven't sold those. I've sold the regular ones. Regular CDs ones. The, Good. Good. CDs are fine at home. You could have them. Uh huh. For the clock. The clock. Yeah, yeah. The edition. One of my reluctances with any company mm -hmm. that has the CD in it. As compared to having, say, a separate transport to plug into it. Is that if it fails? And the whole thing is to put now. When somebody buys something from me, I'll lend them something to use while their thing is being While they're being repaired, repaired yeah. That makes sense. Okay, and it's actually blue. Right, he's doing a thing. Hold on. We got other things down there. There's more time. This is empty. Before there was a freaking line down here. What the hell's at the end of it? Is there a water bottle? Is there a water thing that works? I actually have a water bottle in my... um case that I brought down, so I could just steal that. Anyway, we're on the, the left-hand side now. Let's see what the very, very... We'll just go to the end. Nothing wrong with drum and bass. Oh, water. Hold on. Last time, it was just hilarious, because I, I hit it, and like an ounce came out. Oh. Enjoy that sound of peeing. Bloom. Bloom, baby. Where are we at? Yo, what's up? Morning, guys. What are we selling? Sell me something. Oh, I'm going to zoom in. Sell me. Sell me. Sell me on it. You, your turn. How about you? You got anything? Zoom in on that stuff. Okay, they're all bad salesmen. What about you? What do you got? I want the floor. I can sell you on that. What is it? Go on. Do it. It's my favorite I am. What does it do? What does it do? How does it change your life? Holy. Dude, you rock it out. The fact that you he can't hear you means he's uh, rocking it. You're rocking it? You're hey. rocking it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it winning? He's winning. Well, if he doesn't buy that, you know. Yeah. Jesus, God. I'm actually going to get a copyright infringement from his... From his, <laughs> his I might actually have to lower that. Okay, so they're your favorite I am. What, yeah, what song? Amazing. What song? What's There's the song? There's a song I like um, by... It's a band called Bird Talker that sounds like amazing. Bird Talker. It's Bird Talker. I forget what the actual, there's two songs that I like from the... Dude, that is the loudest I've ever heard. That, you know what, that, that's metal, that's metal 571 level. Better in the Morning by Bird Talker sounds amazing. On what was the name of the song? Better in the Morning. Better in the Morning, all right. Everyone, you've been watching this video. Better in the morning from Bird Talker. But only on which I am... Only on the, you have to buy the velour before you listen to it. Or else the song will... From, from Bloom Audio. Yeah. You have to buy it from Bloom Audio. This, yeah. is, this is a homework. Yeah. It gives people homework. <laughs> All right, so let's let's work our way across the thing. So we got campfires here. You guys are selling campfire. Yeah, Matt will sell you something. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> wow. Wow. Confidence in the products he's got in front of him. And of course you got Burson. Yeah, of course. Which have all the power apparently. <laughs> I, I got a whole I've never seen that person, that little guy on the bottom. Oh uh, that's uh, the, the serenade. This is yeah. this is a uh, high this is golden way. Golden way serenade. Mother yeah, oh even as he finally Yeah, he, he realized. He realized, <laughs> he realized the death is coming. Death did you hear the death? His death is coming. I'm gonna get a copyright infringement from that. Just, yeah, I said this whole segment it's just, just like, unusable. He gave a thumbs up to us. It's got to be good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm down. Ah, uh, uh, so okay. I'm like, that doesn't fit in the rack. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like beautiful. Nah, just to cram that in the side. And we got DCS coming still here. Any new brands that are like exciting and you're so happy that they're there? Everybody, everybody knows Eversolo. Everybody knows Eversolo. It's fine. It's better to have them than not have them. Yes. For sure. I got, I literally, that, 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 that's, that's, that's like, oh my God. That's... Stacks, bro. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm still arguing my cousin about the stakes. Oh, this is a little baby portable. 
Yeah, same the 500 on that one. Limited edition. Yeah. Which, uh... L300 Limited? L300 Limited. You have I had one. No, no, I, I borrowed one from um, Jack Wu, and he took it back, and I, I regret not buying those. Because I have the 700s. It's hard to buy them. It's impossible to buy them. I would absolutely trade my 700s for those, because those had just a little bit more going for them, and it was like, I didn't... Because I know the number's lower. It's 300. I wanted the 700, but the 300 is just... And I actually still have... I have this. But it's hard to take out. Like, I, I will use it on outside of my porch. That's not the one you have. This is the SRM D102. Oh. <laughs> That's the new one. What have you, what have you changed? Um, the, the sound quality is about... A lot of people say 15 to 20% better, and it's USB-C. Oh, that's right. The other one wasn't USB-C. It was USB, uh, micro USB. Yeah. Okay. And the retail on that's going to be? Um, the, you, same. the same? Same price. Right. Tell you what. Uh, remaining battery handles 0%. Uh, we don't know. Oh, my Lord. It's so spinny. Yeah. I smell the audiophilia coming out of that. Real to real is cool as hell. I, I I will never say it isn't. Yeah, it's cool for Norm. It's a great it's a great playlist. Do you want to put on the uh, twelve sixty six, just right, so you can no. take a video of you wearing them? I think you want to wear them. No, last time we did that. No, that was the Jacqueline floats. I know they look oh. very similar. Oh. They did not feel like this amp though, the head amp amp. Yeah. That is the amp amp. That is the head amp amp. That's the amp amp. It works very well with the MR for some reason, by accident, and the Sagra deck. The synergy was total happenstance. And actually that's half of audiophilia, is figuring out what the hell. That's the fun part. It was by total accident. Because <laughs> it's all we. <laughs> it's just like, put it in here. It's nice. See, it still isn't hot enough. I need to ground it out so I can grill on top of it. I do think that's only available for pre order, and this unit is very demo pre order ready. Well, like the left and right are switched on and off. Oh, that's, that's fine. No, that's all good shit. Oh, that's right. It is on off. It is currently off. But it's on. But it's on. And the lights don't work. That's right. DeShelly Labs had a similar thing with their brand new amplifier showing off. The, the bass and treble knob, things were reversed. And they were backwards. So if you wanted to bring the bass up, you turned it left. And it was like, oh, I bought the wrong pots. He's like, I put it together yesterday. It's always like last minute. You got to have things ready for these shows. I like the color combo here. This is... Popular, for sure. Just popular. What color would you call that? Brown or chocolate? I like it when it's sable. Yeah. Sable. Um, what's the BMW interior color? I don't know. Yeah. Is it sable? No. I like chocolate. Exactly I like chocolate. Oh, peanut butter leather. I like peanut butter leather. That's a good one. I don't know if we're there. That. That's a little too dark. And then there's a classic abyss brown. Cinnamon. 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 Ah, cinnamon. How about real to real? I mean, I know vinyl wasn't expensive enough, so let's just get into this right now. I was about to see if the headphone out port still worked while the line go, out worked. Go ahead, plug away. I'm sorry if it stops playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did it stop? No. Still playing? Still, still playing. Okay. We have another listening station for the real real. There you go. What's all? Can you change tracks? <laughs> I actually had someone asking that. Like, can you just put on a better one? <laughs> is this... Yeah. this is the list on this tape. That's. See, here's the thing: you can't even put the label on the thing because it'll be spinning. So everyone's gonna be like vomiting trying well, to look it's at just it. Just play and... Jesus, Have you, are you actually gonna change the tapes? So you're gonna pray that you can play this one over and over again, no one notices. Uh, yeah, we'll change it. Let's see what we got. We've got Zeppelin 2, Aretha Franklin, and Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. All right, I have a real question for you. What is the newest song you can get on Reel to Reel? The new, I want the no most poppy, I want some, some Kesha on there. I don't think we know anything about Reel to Reel, we, honestly. We don't, we don't. We borrowed this you know Reel to Reel? Because we thought it was no. cool. Do you know Reel to Reel? No. no. Who the hell, why is it in here then? Oh my God. We just thought it looked cool. That's, right. That's the only reason you need it here. Yeah. Honestly, put like a little, a little a Sansa clip behind it and just have it spin and just have MP3s playing into the thing and everyone will be like, this sounds amazing. What, uh, what uh, waifu sticker should we put on it? Oh, you can fit so many of them. 
You know what they have? They have a little one that jiggle, like the little ones you stick in the thing. You put that on the reel and have it just bounce around. It'd be great. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid, dumb idiot. Why? This camera battery thing is dead and I could have attached it to a charger and just went with a smaller camera. Oh. But I didn't. Anyway, welcome to Tim's Squar, where all this shit happens and then you buy drugs. Anyway, we're going for tacos. Tacos? Tacos first. Walk to tacos. Los tacos number one. Los tacos number one. Why does it do that? What? See the, see the zoom? Mm -hmm. It's like a touch, you zoom up and down. Or tilt with the, with the knob, but if you tap that, it ch changes what they do. There's not enough controls on this thing, anyway. Deep fried. Mm. Like your mom. I got two hot dogs as well. I ate one already. Oh my god. The other one's in my pocket. You got two hot dogs and chicken? Yeah, got the combo platter. But look at that, man. That's delicious looking. His hot dogs look better. Whose? This guy's hot dogs look better than this one. Let me, let me see yours. He asked me if I want big or small. I got the small ones. Oh. I didn't have an option. Oh. Let me see yours. Yours are more red. Probably the same. This man's working for it, man. He's working it. I have no idea how much, by the way. It's gotta be insane. I'm sure. So, anybody want, at home, if you're watching at home, I had two hot dogs, smaller hot dogs, I had the large and small, thank God I didn't get the large, and I got this, which is the uh, chicken and lamb combo over rice, with the white sauce and a little bit of spicy, like this looks good, but when the guy asked me how much to pay, he made, he mumbled a number, and it was like, how much? And Evan was like, 17, and I'm like, oh really? And then he was like, no, 30, so this, plus two hot dogs and no drink was $30. I'll tell you how it is. All right, you know what? Yeah, I thought he said 17. This is fucking heavenly, man. This is, this is this is legit. It looks good. I mean, that's kind of mm. hard to fuck up. Mmm. It's a quieter show, obviously. But he doesn't sing for like 20 hours. And I can tell each and every song that this is going to be. 50th anniversary. TR, T50RBs. I want Ryan to take a crack at them. All right, let me, let me hear what you got to say. I think it's a very good amplifier. Yeah, but I do prefer my setup though. What's your setup? I got a, a tambaki with a, a HM1. Okay. And a Y23M. Uh, and okay, so you're doing full tube pre into an HM1. Not quite, just separate. But th that's actually more money than that. It is. Combined. It is. So that's why the stealth, you got the stealth here. With the stealth. With the stealth, that's that's a saying something. Yeah, but it's a, it's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna sit down now. We're gonna try this, everyone. I'm trying this. Hold on, we're fixing the 808s with the granddaddy of all fixers. Let's turn that down. Let's try low gain. Plug that in. Get my phone out. I realized I gave my dap away to a friend to let him try my dap. There we go. I have a phone that's like the closest I have. I I heard about this dap. Oh, so what he does is like he. It's funny. So this YouTube. Oh my God. This is vocals. There you go. This should work. Wet where? Right, even better. Okay, so you've got T60 Argons, and then balance modded, Deconi padded uh, 600 880s. See, he came prepared, and what's in that? Adapters and IEMs. Sandwiches. And then Sandwiches. Sandwiches. He doesn't have you carrying everything? You're lucky. You're a lucky lady. He's willing to take the load. Yep. What's in the backpack then? Right now, just a raincoat, but then as soon as I go outside, everything's going Saves you $5 from checking the coat, like you had to pay. 
bastard. You got the now pay file. Now it's in your room. Yes, now it's in my room. Anyway, plug these into Mass Kobo and then yeah, be sad. Be yeah, real sad. He's gonna, it's $17,000. Don't yeah, let him look at it. He's like, baby, I'm going to love this. It's going to be the greatest thing I've ever listened to and it's going to be... I got to say, though. Anybody need a glove? OJ did it. I got to say, though. Mandy wants to pull me along with you guys to like some Italian. Ah, my. Like, hey, <laughs> Mark <laughs> Sevens, it baby. Took us, like, it took us like an hour and a half to get like calculate everyone's like it was contributions. Yeah, no, it was it was the dinner. <laughs> dinner took forever to get us the food, and yeah. then it took forever to figure out who the fuck owes money. Uh, it was nutty. Ooh. Okay, give me a quick like seventeen words. Go ahead. On the warmer side. Uh huh. That's what I want. Definitely got some sound stage to him. Lots of bass. Good bass. Not muddy or anything like that. I like them. All right. G give uh, me money. Nights Forever approved. Follow me on... No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Give me, give me these damn things back. I got to go poison someone else's brain. Burb. Very Yeah. So they don't relax on you. But, yeah. Show the Cruel Angel thesis. I'm more of a speaker person myself. Okay. Hopefully next year we're looking at making some uh, DIY speakers for people. Yeah. So. There's a lot going on. Is this with a the dongle? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a oh, it's the Fidelix, Fidelix 5K. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Abomination! <laughs> Shinji! Am I filming? Am I filming? Yeah, okay, yeah. I can't turn my head, the things are hitting my other things. I've got too many things on my head right now. That one's got lightning? Hold on. I think No, 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 it's fine. It's doing, it's doing good work. All right, you can't tell where I am, it's IFI. And they shit is fire. Hold on, I'm zooming in. Or lightning. But you know, that was one of my favorite. I'm not 100% sure if I love the, I know that's from Bluetooth to hide the antenna. I kind of like the antenna. Yeah. Does it light up? Does it light up? Negative. Damn it. <laughs> so yeah. Not pulling out. Every, well, time gonna... we put, every time we put lights on things, we're like, can you turn the lights off? Like, no. Fucking audio files. Although I will say this, I am building a blackout room in my house out of cloth. Like like that material. I bought, cool I bought like 15 yards of it. And I'm going to get a PVC ring and I'm just going to wrap it around and put a roof. This way in the middle of the day, I just go into this and it'll fit speakers. So it should be big enough to fit speakers. Because I'm a psychopath. You've never experienced it until you've listened to music in pure darkness. So is it the darkness pure. of the cave or is it the sound dampening? Really? No, no. Actually, it's less sound dampening because it's acoustically transparent. But I, I'll tell the story off camera because you guys have heard this story. Go to the Capital Audio Fest video and you can hear about the dark room. Okay, so. I love how it tells me the battery present remaining and then doesn't show it's recording. Anyway, these are MEMS. But different MEMS. And this is a full range MEMS in an IM, and that's it. It's just, it's just that. So I brought my tips because I brought my glaciers, and we're gonna give these a try. They need 40 volts, 40 volts. That's a lot of voltage. Let's try it. Be listening to Hi-Fi-Men IMs, which I didn't even know were a thing. There's box over there. I don't know what the model number is. Uh, Svarnar and hating on Satan. Satan's format. Mm. Okay, so K19 is baller as hell. Like that thing's, this thing, I've got Glacier in it. And then it turns out they had the JT1s behind the desk and I'm like, you take those out. You give them to this man. Oh look, it's got a little headphone stand attachment. Damn, I mean, I don't know this song, but also, by the way, FUBAR. We are currently rocking FUBAR. I'm listening to Celine Dion, it's the best I could do. I have that thing, what is that doing? That looks awesome, I can't get mine to do that. I gotta figure out every mine to do that. We got Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. What is happening at the Fio booth? Who filled this up? And then Ludwig von Beethoven. There we go. That is, that is a big feat on it, too. All right. 
getting this, and you know how much this cassette player was? I, all right, so here's the deal. I, I, love, I, love I was shitting on the cassette player. It's really cool to hold, and it's a hundred bucks. I could accept one hundred dollars, even for a joke. I told her I want all four colors. I want to make an artwork display on the wall. I'll never use it after I do the review, but four cool colored cassettes is like that's some artwork shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? I'm flipping this around. All right. Very nice. I really like these. These are those. I listened to those for a little bit. They're nice too. Yeah. But these sound as good. And they're $69. They sound... $69. $69. I, I, I haven't heard them yet. Heard them. You gotta try these. Everyone needs JT1s. They're gonna be the next big thing. They don't have the harshness like those have. Those get a little harsh. Those get a little harsh. And these are good, but they're pricey. They're good. But, they're, but those are like the magic. They're just... The, they're the hiding The mid-range is just as good on this. I'm gonna sell a billion of those. I can't wait. As soon as I come back to Amazon, I'm gonna sell a billion of them. I need to sell a billion. I need to sell them. I need to sell them. I need to buy a JT1. I brought my pair, and that's not my pair, that's their but pair. This so dynamic, it's just, this is a dynamic, right? Yeah. It's just a dynamic. And it's built really well for $69. And the wire is nearly as nice as that one. In fact, it might even be nicer. It's crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Go mm -hmm. and, and like near the end of the movie where he stumps his foot down. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh my fucking god! Like I got shivers. Yeah, no, we're talking about Dune now, and this insane thing. The back of it is even crazier. Like look, look at what's in the back of this for thirteen hundred dollars. This is gonna sell all the cakes. There you go. I actually have one of those. It's it's great. It's like an all-in-one, man. This is better for me though. This is for B. I just bought a new, a new amp though. Don't you hate this hobby? Yes. It's fucking I the do. worst. It's <laughs> the fucking worst. The PEQ specifically. So, so this, because it is a professional grade studio recording, you come with this software which you to do parametric equalization outputs. So is anything on right now? I'd like to disable if there's anything on. Could I just oh, it's just not connected, so I would have connected. Doing a handshake thing. We're doing, we're learning. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so I want this to, it's all flat. I want to make sure it's all flat. I don't want to make sure there's no color of the sound. Uh, you can uh, EQ reset it now. Uh, EQ reset, okay. Also, you can, if you adjust the very perfect EQ, also you can uh, export uh -huh. the name of a file. That okay, so if you're going to do parametric equalization for any specific headphone with this, you could do that. Yeah. Or speaker, because it has the outputs, so you could do that as well. Yeah. And that obviously is software, so you don't need the USB connection. You could use a fiber optic connection or anything else to uh, feed this. Or does it only work? We have we have a specific uh, USB connector. With oh, there's a, that's right. There's two USBs. Yeah, two USB. One oh, so that's account. that's not a software thing. That is specifically tuning the hardware on this. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a whole nother level of ball game for... All right. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Thank you for being crazy. That's crazy. Box S2. Was this here last year? Was it the S2 last year or was it something else? Well, we've had various things. Um, it could have been a head box, not a... Or a head so, box unba S. unbalanced. Only running 735 milliwatts. 725. 725. It keeps getting lower. <laughs> Running Diana off a goddamn CD player, but still, God, I love the size of that. That is so minimalist. I feel like if I was a, I feel like one in another life I could be a minimalist with just like one plant and one of those, and maybe like I don't know a phone dock and that's it. My whole desk, but my life is like my neck. It is just covered in shit. Anyway, check out Project. He's got twenty-five of these boxes. Around twenty. 20 of these little boxes, the little boxes, and I don't, I think I, I think I read a list of what you had and I couldn't even. all the sizes, because we have an S range, which stands for small. That makes sense, I don't like it. we have a DS, which stands for double small, double size. Okay, wait, wait, you had me until the DS. And then RS is our reference series, which are the largest components. And that's still small. It is. I mean, compared to like some things here, that is still small. I love the screen on that. That looks and, so and nice. This that is one of the nicest screens. This is a fully balanced, fully analog preamp. It's a fully balanced DAC with multiple digital inputs. So full preamp, 
Analog is analog, digital is converted to analog, of course, because it's preamp and headphone amp. And this is amazing. And that's a, and their little streamer is running the screen there. Yeah. To do all the other oh, stuff. Oh, it has video output? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, I'm looking at, this is all part of that system, sorry. It's a song. Firstly, you need to get this song. So that's amazing. Secondly, I was... Broken KPH40s. I'm making him a believer. You need to believe. Yeah, that just has to be like. See, this is this is the one thing I used to. Go, I need crazy glue all my KPH forties by default. Yeah, so this is my task bench now because when I go up to the hundred thousand dollar tube amp, I want to know. Hey guys, through. Hey, do you remember him from Munich? What is that? What am I looking at? Neko. I'm on your Telegram. You're on my Telegram, and you're. What's your name? Introduce yourself. My name is Parker, and I'm an engineer. Parker was in Munich. I think the last day when I was running around like a lunatic, he's like, by the way, I have a room here and you inspired me to start into audiophilia. And then I built a turntable that reads via, wait, wait, explain your turntable that you? Well, I work at a company called Soundsmith. So we make a, a bunch of unique cartridges. Um, the one you're talking about is the strain gauge. And it, that thing uses semiconductors and it's really, really cool. It's like the yeah, there's like, two hey, cartridges that light up. We're one of them. Like yeah, I got apparently I got him into audio. I don't know how. I'm not a great. It's got my it's the worst lighting in the history. Hold on. Anyway, I got him into audio, <laughs> and he's got something cool in his backpack. He's gonna show me. Yeah. So this is um it's just a fun project. So this is an amp I'm making. It's, it already looks cool as hell. It's called the Associate, and this one I painted to look like a Cos Porta Pro. It's blue and silver. And well, there you go. And I'm wearing Cos on my head, so it's all yeah, working so out. I thought that was cool. How you doing, man? And, um, People are watching. <laughs> They're watching me learn things. I got another one in my backpack. Same, same sort of thing, but this is the one that I use. So. All right. Let me take a look at this. That might have shown my address. <laughs> no, it's, the camera's not that good. Trust me, I know all about showing addresses by mistake. Ooh, that is a nice knob. Ooh, it's got a little heart. Yeah, that's, that's Mont Balance signature. garbage. All right next. This is the next one. So that's the eight jack version. So that's it's a, both of these are full functional system preamps. So you got two inputs, two outputs. Oh, that's a hefty little boy. And um, two headphone jacks. So and output, nothing output, is three D printed. All three D printed. All three D printed. Not this. Yeah. That, that too. So that's a cool pattern I made on my resin printer. Um, light shines through it. Okay. Re okay. You're adding resin into the mix. This well, is. No, it's it's a three D resin printer. So it prints just like, well, I painted some of those parts, but this is unpainted. That's just right off the, the print bed. I like switches. Switches for days. And I got something really cool. So what's my power output on these? A uh, couple hundred milliwatts, like 150 milliwatts. Nothing Wait, and this isn't the really cool thing? That's the really this, cool thing? This is the really cool thing. So also, his headphones are very grado like Grado-esque. Grado, not Grado. <laughs> not Grado is the best kind of Grado. So this is the power supply. This I made out of a reject box for one of our cartridges. And there, it's all handmade. See, that's cool shit. I mean, it, it looks like a an old tube amp. It looks like a tube amp uh, layout where you just have the, the piping and no one's... And you don't bend anything because it'll just ground out. Yeah. But that's cool. So and then, the, the previous one I made, this was all open air. It was on top of a board. Mm -hmm. And I blasted myself really hard. 110 across the chest, so I decided to make one with a Yeah, lid. wood is wood is good. Wood keeps you from dying. Wood is good. <laughs> so yeah. so you you need that for these or these can get plugged uh, in directly? You can plug in any twenty four volt supply. So it'll run off anything. So I sent one to a guy, he had an S booster, I didn't need to send him a supply. And um, yeah, because he had his own. The thing is like I I wanna I'm selling a few of these the problem is TI discontinued a chip that I use, so the project kind of got... Well, that just, no, that just makes these more rare, and you get to upcharge for these. Well, no, that's, that's a problem. You should talk it's to like, uh, Musada-san from Mass Kobo and be like, because he only uses yeah. discontinued parts. Wait, Golden Sound's walking very, very... Look at him. Oh, wait, he stopped. He's going back. Goodbye. He's doing his thing. I'm trying to find... Uh, I don't want to 
keep you here too long. Well, to yeah, my watch apparently has not been changed because my watch does not know the time has been changed last night. It, everyone lost an hour of sleep, and I just lost an hour of show. All right, you dig in your bag. We'll come back. So, yeah, this is the, the yellow, yeller d -d dingy. It, er, er. That's on. That's off. This is headphones up. If you really down. want to be an audiophile, you got to make it so that it's like up, and then the other one has to go left, and then, <laughs> but then say right, and then it'll be fine. Let me plug my thing and hold on. How old is it? Uh, the Reynolds. It's not EDM. It's going to be Joni Mitchell. Is that all right? That's fine. Not that okay. If you could find EDM it's on Real to Real, I'd listen to that. I know you will. I might need to. I know you will. Isn't that yeah. much wild? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so one of the things is that we have these alien skulls that are taken out of the box. It's really pixel They have no idea how it works. But if you can point out to it, the headset, you can communicate distances. Wow. It's going to be just out of I'm about to jam with some KPH 40s on real to real. Really close. Very strange. It'd be perfect for you. Yeah, we are. Sit, this, uh, sit the books out next okay, to let's these. Do it. Get the it. The volume is. Ready? I'll put up a little bit. Yeah, yeah we're we'll good. Put it up too much because it, it's loud. There we go. Thank you. I kind of do like when it starts and it goes. Whoa. Isn't that great? Then you know it's. Real. I'm sure there's an MP. There's a plugin for Fubar that will make that happen. I can make this happen. Pop mix too. It's close folded. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, man, it'll be poor, yeah. perfect. So let's sure lost their um their banner. So that's the best I got. Yeah, UPS lost it for us, but that's okay. We're having a good time. Do you guys have my card directly? I don't know if you have my card directly. Wait, Cadenza 4, yeah, okay, no. Yeah, Cadenza 4 is our new product. Uh, basically, launching it more or less today, uh, able yesterday. It's actually not for sale just yet because we're still working on feedback. Is it, because I did the Cadenza, the Cadenza was the highest. The Cadenza 12 is gonna be, yeah, our titanium shell 12 drive. Yeah, I've got that, and that was, you know what that fuck, you know what that fucking IEM did? All the way in front of my face. What the fucking IEM did? It told me that wires matter. I hate that. <laughs> I was so ignorant and blissful, it was great. And it's then I, I switched it to like my cheap collab cable, like my $50 cable, and all of a sudden it was like, oh no, it sound bad. And then I put it on a more expensive cable and like, it sound good again. I'm like, ah. You should get into making your own cables. I have, uh, Effect Audio has a collab with me. It's like $360, and I would, that's as high as I want to go. Three, 350 is like, that's it. Cables are tedious, man. They're a pain to make. Oh God! Like this one came from um, uh, Viking Weave out in the UK. He makes these, cool. and the only reason I'm using it is because the glaciers over there are MMCX, and no one likes that. Nope. I don't. No one likes that. You have any MMCX? You have any MMCX? Nope. You're my favorite. But yeah, no. So he gave me this cable, and I've never been able to use it because why the fuck would I ever? Why would I ever? Look how nice this is, though. Oh. But yeah, so that's new. Yes, that's new. Price point. We're looking at under 300. Yeah. Under 300. By the way, it's day two. I never said that. I just started filming like a madman. Hopefully, I figured it out. Um, under 300 for that. Yes. Lots yes. We've actually sold most of uh, most of what we brought. So. Good. You have nothing. Then you, you could sell the jacket too. Yeah, we sell the jacket with that. Table? Is it even the table yours? No. no sell it anyway. Not mine, but you can sell it anyway. Buy, you can probably buy it on consignment from the. Uh, there you go. Let's do it. So, years ago, that blew my mind at a head fi meet. And the reason, I think, was not just the amp, but the Denifrips DAC. And I hate to admit that as a human being and an adult and a Zeos. So, yeah, you got that. I think that eight, 8,000? We got the speaker option. So yeah, and he's got uh, yeah tungsten, so rocking and rolling. So there you go.
So apparently, Dunu, when we film the, film the strain, Dunu has a headphone. I think it's a little bit sharp, but we're gonna we're gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. She's yelling at me. <laughs> Madonna's screaming with her seven-inch remix. Don't hold it. Push it. If you hold, it goes hugging. <laughs> the great. Anyway, look at these guys working their asses off. That's Nick Clark. Just start talking shit. Smack. This Z reviews, motherfucker. Have you seen the K19? I'm in love with the looks and the 8 watts and the DSP that you can load on hardware with US, the separate USB port for a thing. Does it turn your software into hardware? It turn yeah, wait. Firmware? It, well, here's the problem. If you disconnect the software, it hard codes it and you can't turn off the DSP correction you've added, so. Oh, no, that's what you want. That's how you know it's working. But what if you put something else into it? What if you make an HD 800 fixer and then you're like, I don't want this, I want to listen to something good. Then you have to sit in the silence and think about your decisions. All right, I don't like his camera, it's too big. I'm backing up, backing up, backing way up. We'll see them at the thing. See, I'm able to follow them because I'm wearing nothing but black today. And these underarm whites are uh, to represent wings like an angel. All right, wait. It's almost time. Yes, he, John's gonna escort you. Oh. So he's on his way. Nice. Tell him to bring the rose petals. I'm ready. Set up. So, what do we have going on? If you want to give me the little quick, because I have the four o'clock panel, so I'm not gonna be able to get like the full okay. spiel. Okay. But spiel me a little bit. So we got an SME turntable with an SME preamp. I'm assuming oh, that's no. just that's so just the power supply for the turntable. That uh, power supply is on the right hand side. Left hand side is the actual motor control. All right. That is a Sutherland Engineering that's called the Little Loco Mark II. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, phono EQ. Moving over to here, uh, we have the Niagara 5000 power conditioner mm -hmm. and the Rose 150B. Start of the show. Yes, this is a slightly large. Um, Do you think it's bigger than, than what, what you saw in the photos? Thank you. Hey, no, someone described it as the size of a table, and it's not that. Okay. But it definitely has a presence of a gigantic. Actually, stand next. I mean, you mind standing next to it for yeah. scale? You I need a quarter down. In no, I need. You have a banana. Anyone have a banana for scale? I don't. What's the weight? Do you know the weight? I'm your banana for scale. Remember? <laughs> Is this a? Ta oh, you just. This just. Oh my God! See that? That feel. It's just a separate piece you lay down in front, so they don't have to demo. They don't have to ruin the look of the unit with with words. Okay, and then, so now that headphone, was that downstairs or was that only up no. here? So there is a headphone that's particularly paired with these amplifiers. The difference between the AWKG, which you saw downstairs, mm -hmm. and the AWKG Nauru, the Nauru is impedance matched to this amplifier, and also it comes with gold plating cables. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to pause, I'm going to tell everyone I'm pausing this. Pause this and listen to some music. I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think it's worth. And hopefully it'll be worth how much is how much is this MSRP together? 108. Hopefully it's not like a 102, and then I have to like make excuses, but we'll see what's going on. But it's a full listening bar, like a vinyl listening bar. Are you local I've never been I don't know why Hans Zimmer is under Harold Foltermeyer, but I think Hans Zimmer did do the soundtrack too, right? Yeah, he did. That is probably the tubiest tube I've ever tubed to tube days. I'm not even filming it. I'm just pointing it the wrong direction. But don't worry. We're going to test out the real deal right there. 
We're gonna do this live. We're doing it live. Look, it even has the wooden gold. My cable even got the wooden gold that matches it. It's gonna be great. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last like one second of song and it was still the best I've ever heard the KPH 40 sound all right now I gotta play something else because it doesn't autoplay next Let's see my Spotify does that oh wait it's doing something I don't know what it is do I actually hear the compression in this track no oh, wait is this tool Lady Gaga you and I from Lady Gaga you and I from Lady Gaga this is hilarious. You, you, the representative from Audio Technica, yes. who, who's pr promoting this amplifier, you need to hear this. I'd like to. I will be. Uh, would you like? Also, I It's broken, but you know how to fucking deal with it. I sent you an email. Can we test know. these? I'll give you my phone number if you want to text me, because I don't know if I have, if you have my phone number or not. Because I'm trying to just give people my text, because it's just too hard to get through with emails now. Totally understand. He's gonna watch anime now. I have no idea what this is. Good, you shouldn't. One of the best soundtracks ever. Oh, I love Tower of God. Let's stand when up. I was, when I was watching Dune, when I was imagining this sound, that soundtrack. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I wish it had a better soundtrack. Yeah, Dune. exactly. <laughs> wish Dune had Kevin Penkin doing it. Hey, you want to review our baby monitor? We've got a baby monitor. Fifteen dollar baby monitor. You true wireless? Okay, so now he's officially been the first person to listen to Tungsten on this. You can have a moment. You having a moment? I'm gonna have to have a moment on your headphones. Right, you f you film my moment. Film my moment. Make me look good. Get the angles right. Wait. Yeah, there's a moment in this. It's actually it's soft again. It's back to like soft and floaty. Don't catch on fire, please. please. <laughs> yeah, it's cranked. We're about to kill and bury these bodies. They can know, know oh, she knows too. <laughs> yeah, you would have to kill it is too. cranked. Oh, no, no, there's other guys up there. <laughs> Big guys, knives, never saw them before. That is so smooth. It's so good. Oh, I have another song in this. I don't want to do Rachel, that's... <laughs> too much. <laughs> I got to do the panel in nine minutes. Nine minutes to the panel. So is there a high and low gain or no? It's just... Impedance patch? Just impedance, so yes. But to make sure, because these are hard to drive, but it's doing them fine. Mm -hmm. And they are 150 ohms exactly. Okay. So yeah, it, it will do... Each individual impedance setting is a slight range. It's not exact to what the dial says. You could stop filming me now. Okay. I'm gonna have a moment. Stop my moment. How do I stop it? Oh my god, my voice, boys. What's up? We just listened to that shit. Um, I was pretty impressed by the stock. Why am I doing that? I can flip the goddamn camera on. So I was pretty impressed by the stock setup. It made Prodigy sound like fucking smooth jazz. It literally turned it into Diana Krall's Prodigy, which yeah. is pretty impressive. What room are you in? A seminar. There's like a bunch. Seminar room. I saw follow that guy. I'll follow this British bastard over here. <laughs> Yo, beans. 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 All right. So, and that was great. And then we put tungsten. Then I put the KPH 40 on it, and that's the best the KPH 40s have ever right, fucking sounded. <laughs> so you're into headphones, but only <laughs> only these on a hundred and three thousand uh, dollar sound setup. Oh, this looks like it's getting started. And then um, then tungsten fucking killed us all. So good. You're all dying. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, there's really nothing to I've come. Do. Am I fashionably late? <laughs> You're definitely the coolest fashionably late. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Let's go Everyone, if you want to watch, if you want to watch this, it'll be probably on the second no, channel as a separate video. Enjoy. Oh, wow, that's even better. You can hear me clearly now. Yeah. 
Capra Audio. Capra Audio. Capra Audio. Capra Audio. Capra Audio. Capra. All right, shout out to Capra Audio. So, like, that's the. There were some really nice. That is, yeah, interesting. It's like you can finally build your own headphones. You have a schematic of that, and if you have a three D printer, you can just have at it. And that's to it's me, a DIY like, project. Who yeah, heard the growl? But it's like a proper one. Where it's like you don't, you know, you don't have to like pay like for CNC wood five, yeah. or you know injection wood plastic. Those, uh, those yeah, bamboo printers, yeah, great. Yeah. You get those things. Everything was done. Just perfect. Yeah. So to me, it's like that's a very interesting thing that you know has been teased to me for quite a while. I haven't actually tried until now and. Now that I've tried it, it's like, yeah, this is legit. Like, wow. Which ones did you try? Um, like, which of what unit? The Hanamami, the both of them, as well as the Cap the Capra ones that uh, I thought was slightly too basic, but I, I saw the potential. That was like, okay, like that could be the really good. Grinder? I don't think they you No, no, the, 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 the coaxial yeah, like, oh, oh, ring radiator. Oh. interesting as well. I didn't know you could buy something like that off of AliExpress. Yeah, but soon I'll like it as well. So she'll let. All right, well, thank Please work. Are you working? I think you're working. Let's see if you're working. I'm. Uh, it's a madhouse now. It is officially. Everything is leaving. I've had this SD card give me write errors now, so hopefully we didn't lose all of the things. Just enjoy the ambiance of madness. I didn't get to listen to the ten thousand dollar goddamn. What? Son of a bitch bastard. The headphone I missed. Which one? The Raw. Oh, people are talking about that one. Great. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I'll just lie to the audience and be like, that Raw headphone was primo. Hey, he's still here. I knew you'd be still here. I was like, I missed the Raw. And I'm like, he's just going to be sitting there showing it off. It's going to be great. What took you so long? Where are you been? I was doing a panel, and I had to listen to that $100,000 tube amp up in the 46th floor. <laughs> oh, hey, I wanted to see that. How was it? Let me tell you, I put on the Prodigy, and it sounded was... <laughs> trying to write, trying to write. It gives me like a minute, and then shuts off. So hopefully, look at this little thing. I'll, uh, I'll send you some headphones you can sell to get a new one. Yeah, give me one head. Give me the ugliest headphone. What's the ugliest headphone? I want that one. Is it really broken? Well, we'll say, I, I started recording, and then after about a minute, it's like SD card error. Where's your cheesecake? I'm not that it hurts. Okay, cool. I'm gonna continue watching movies. It's fine. It's fine. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're leaving. Goodbye. I'm going to chicken. And chiming back in at the end of this Can Jam video, this is about a week later. Um, sorry that it takes me so long to publish things. It's just once I'm done with an event, I'm exhausted and I had friends over for a night and then pasta had to leave. It was a whole thing. Um, thank you again to my sponsors, Princess Pasta, who, sp who legit sponsored this video with money. So, link tree for hers in the description. Check out her YouTube channel. She's doing actual audio reviews and going places. Um, Flatiron Pepper Company, because I decided on them. And then finally, the most important, that, Pioneer Mini Split. That 36,000 sits here, and I think it averages like 1,000 watts. When it gets nicer weather, it's down to like 400 watts. But it keeps this entire 2,800 square foot basement perfect. All winter it's warm. All summer it's dehumidified. Um, and that's all that's important. So yeah, thanks to my sponsors. Sorry for the camera getting cut off. I think there was something damaged with the card. The card has since been formatted and works fine. I just couldn't record more than like a minute nine after the multiple falls. Zach from ZMF came this close to having to buy me a new camera. Doesn't look like he's going to have to. Um, I think the camera performs pretty admirably. Uh, so yeah, link to this. If you're looking for a Pocket 3, I highly recommend the wide-angle lens. Currently, the wide-angle lens is on. If I take it off, this is without the wide-angle lens. You get way too much of this. A little more view, like that. Um, yeah, CanJam was great. Actually, better than most years. I really enjoyed what I heard. I didn't get, again, to the Annihilators. I didn't get to. I like that $100,000 tube amp as much as you can like something like that. It's like... What am I going to do about it? That doesn't help you. Anyone in my audience that's thinking about buying that, please leave a comment so I could target you directly for patronage. Um, yeah, basically the show ended. I was exhausted. Uh, luckily, my ears didn't bleed. Sometimes I do IEM reviews like six or seven in a row. My ears get really sensitive. I have to like, fill them with lotion. But um, it seemed to work out. I'm going to go now. 
You guys, thank you for your support. Patrons, you honestly, patrons, are the ones who supported me for this trip. Because <laughs> Princess Pasta's 50 bucks is not going to take me very far. Considering I paid for a lot of... I think I paid for more... I think it was more money for food this trip to New York than it was my 12 days in Tokyo in 2015. So, um, hopefully, more sponsors for the next videos. I've got Axpona coming up. And I've got, uh, again, Munich. We're doing Munich. It's been one year since I did the face reveal in Munich. Or for the Munich show. Uh, the way I'm going to be releasing videos is going to be a little different, by the way. If you made it all the way to the end, who gives a shit if I add an extra four minutes? Since YouTube is very, very strict on how often I release a video. And if I release a seven-hour video, A, I'm, it's screwed up. Because for some reason, this camera, when I just edit them together throws off the audio by like four seconds by the end of it. Something to do with when I combine it in virtual dub. I'm using old software. Stop it. But I'm probably going to do short, short videos, not as long as this one, shorter than this for any multi-day events. And I'm going to introduce them just like I did with the CES video, which you should have seen by now. Zeos released the CES video. And then the Zeos second channel will get the bulk. The like, I'm just going to drop unedited nonsense boom, right there. And then once you're good into the unedited nonsense, I'll, you know, jump around with timestamps. But I really, editing is like, oh yeah, I can edit and have some do cool transitions and stuff, but it's not, I want to give you the raw data. All right. Raw data. This is what Zeos thinks at every moment of everything. And if it's not interesting, then skip it. You don't have to watch the whole thing. People get intimidated by these long videos. This is a two hour and some odd vid minute video. The second channel, by the way, has the one hour conference where the camera kept falling. If you're looking for that, the clips for that are on Zio second channel. I'll link it in the description. Although this is the very end of the video. So I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video. I guess I can make a small segment at the beginning of the video and then put it on the beginning. It's fine. It's fine. You'll find it. It's, it's asked the reviewer segment. There'll be another one at Expona in Chicago. I'll be on that panel as well. And I go to Munich where no one knows who the fuck I am. So thank you for your sponsorship. If, again, if you want to sponsor my channel for realsies, no matter what your business is, plumbing, uh, mold removal, uh, foot repair, let me know. Uh, sponsor my video. Uh, usually it's a minimum of like $500. Because people always ask, what's the minimum? What, can I give you 20 bucks? It's no. It's like $500 gets you into the bottom slot. Because Munich, the flights, and then I think the hotel will be covered by headphones.com, but everything else. So keep an eye. And I also don't want to have like 80 sponsors. Like, a good five is the maximum I'd ever have at an adventure. So, you go, I go, we go. Thank you for standing by. Waifus.